In just a few hours from now, leaders with Central Florida's largest school district are set to outline plans on how they will start the year amid the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. Orange County is starting Monday with all virtual learning, but it now looks like that's going to happen without an agreement that the district between the district and thousands of teachers. Ezzy Castro is following the latest developments for us live and Ezzy, the union says it's at an impasse when it comes to what to do about safety. Yes, and this all comes just weeks after negotiating with the district and still both parties cannot come to an agreement when, agreement when it comes to reopening schools. And this is all happening just three days before students in Orange County start virtual learning. We have some students that have not been in a classroom for almost six months. We have students that have been missing in action since we went to distance learning very quickly in March. After hours on the bargaining table yesterday, members with the Orange County Teachers Union declared an impasse with the school district on reopening schools amid the pandemic. The union president arguing the district is not ready to do so. People are, are pretty much panicked because they don't feel you have their backs. Though school officials disagree, saying they will follow the state mandate to reopen for face-to-face -face learning by the end of the month. Orange County is not in phase one, we're in phase two. Neither is so, Hill Spirit. I know you're not going to like this answer, but we're opening. Discussion on safety measures in schools, also a heated topic. I have respect for medical experts who have the guts to stand up for the safety of students, parents, and the community. Now, the teachers union filed a lawsuit against the district not long ago, saying the district was not transparent with its reopening plans. Meanwhile, the school district is holding a briefing today about the new school year. That's going to be at 10 o'clock. Live in downtown Orlando, Ezzy Castro getting results in News 6. Thank you, Ezzy.